Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have an Ultraman X review for you today. Uh, this is Griza. He is part of the Ultra Monster series. He's kind of the last one to come out as Griza is the kind of last big bad or pretty much the final monster that Ultraman X fights um, in the last two episodes of the series. The series has now ended and I have to say it was pretty excellent. I really did enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, this is one of the larger Spark Dolls, and as you can see, it's pretty nicely painted. Uh, definitely got some nice colors going on here, some gold in the fingers and toes. Then you have kind of a darker copperish color for these kind of orbs here, and then some of the face and chest in the middle. And then primarily kind of a fuchsia purple and kind of a steely blue color. But it definitely looks good. I think they did a nice job painting it. Obviously, he comes with a cyber card, which is connected here. I'll cut off in a minute. So, just as a, at a quick glance, I think he's pretty good, but I'll go ahead, I'll cut the card off, and then we can take a closer look at it. So, as I was saying earlier, the paint job on Grisa is very, very nicely done, in my opinion. There's not a whole lot going on on the back, mostly just the kind of purple accents on the wings and just a little bit of the blue poking through from the torso. Uh, but I really like the overall color scheme, and I really like the paint applications. I think it looks really sharp. It's kind of hard to get a look at his face. I'll try to get in as best I can. It really just looks kind of like a grid pattern or like a bunch of eyes and kind of a weird mouth. Um, but that's what it looked like on the show as well. So I'm not really sure. Just kind of a crazy alien face going on there. Um, if you did watch the show, this is his kind of final form. He kind of came to Earth in a much more normal humanoid type of form. But then he absorbed some energy and evolved into this kind of crazy spike and wing, you know, crazy kick butt form. <laughs> um, but I definitely like it. I think it looks really cool. As far as articulation goes, the arms can kind of move up and down. And there's a little bit of articulation here at the waist. My, the waist on mine's a little loose, but I really don't think it's a big deal. And they're probably not all like that. But yeah, it's a really nice uh, vinyl doll here, one of the larger Spark dolls, and I definitely like it a lot. He does have the chip in his foot, just like the others do, so we'll go ahead and check out the sounds he makes with the X Divisor. So as usual with a Spark doll, um, it's going to make the same sounds whether the X Divisor is open or closed. I'm going to go ahead and open it just because it's easier to get the foot in there to read it. I love the way she says grease. Um, there's really not any unique sounds depending on which one you choose at this point. Um, just the sounds of them saying the monster's name are unique. Other than that, so the other one I think says like training simulation or something like. It's the same thing it says for all the spark dolls. But we'll go ahead and we'll take a look at the cyber card that he came with. So taking a quick look at the card itself, I really like the look of this. I think it looks really neat. Cyber Grisa definitely looks like someone you don't want to mess with. And then on the back, you can see it's number 32. Unknown. Everything's question mark. He's very mysterious. But it's a really, really neat card. We're going to go ahead and pop this on. So as you can see, it's just a generic attack sound because he was not used in the show as an armor. Uh, X pretty much just, you know, defeated him, saved the world, and that was the finale of the show. But it's still a really neat cyber card. I do like it a lot. I think Grease is a really neat Spark Doll. If you've been collecting the Spark Dolls for Ultraman X up until this point, you're definitely going to want Grease because he was kind of the final big bad that X defeated to save the day, and that was the finale of the series. 
So I think it's neat. I definitely think, you know, it's a little bit lighter on the articulation side, but it doesn't have a tail or anything, so it kind of makes sense to have this level of articulation. The paint looks great. I definitely really like the paint scheme, and I think the attention to detail with the paint, the figure looks really great. And the card that it comes with is a lot of fun. doesn't do a whole lot of new sounds with the X-Divisor, but it's a nice looking card. The artwork on the card is very nice, and the sounds you do get are pretty cool. I love the way the X divisor says Guriza. Um, in any case, I think it's a fun Spark doll. Again, the nice thing about Spark dolls is they're usually only somewhere in the area of, you know, cheaper ones are five, bigger ones are ten to thirteen, something like that. And this guy being a larger one is in that ten to thirteen dollar range. Um, but I think he's worth it, especially if you've been collecting him up to this point, it's a nice one to finish up your collection. I think this is pretty much it for Ultraman X as far as the normal release goes. Um there is a movie sometime in February, I think towards the end of February, and he is getting a couple more Spark Dolls and con in conjunction with that movie, so I have those pre-ordered and we'll take a look at them when they eventually come in. But this is it for kind of the main run of Ultraman X, and I have to say I really did enjoy it. Not a huge um, Ultraman guy as far as I didn't have a lot of prior experience. X was kind of my first series that I actually got to watch from the beginning to the end, and I really liked it. I liked the characters. I thought all the designs were really cool. I liked pretty much everything about it. I don't really have anything bad to say about it. So if you get a chance to check out Ultraman X, I definitely recommend it, and the toys so far have been really great. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed your, this look at Grisa from the Ultraman X Spark Doll Ultra Monster series, and thanks so much for watching.